For a few minutes today, Pope Benedict was able to enjoy a Vatican concert and get away from what is being called a tsunami of allegations of sexual abuse by Catholic priests in Europe. Tomorrow, a letter of apology he wrote to believers in Ireland will be published, but it is not likely to diminish the storm of accusations. Criticism of the church and even of Pope Benedict himself has been piling up by the hour, with some going so far as to call him directly accountable. It stems from a case in Germany when Archbishop Ratzinger, as the Pope was known then, approved treatment for this priest, chronic abuser Peter Hollerman. Hollerman was banned from pastoral work, but the psychiatrist who treated him told the New York Times that church officials ignored his warnings that the priest was still dangerous and should not be allowed near children. And that is, uh, is a major question mark about uh, Pope Benedict himself and his handling of the question. Whether or not blame ends up being focused on what Archbishop Ratzinger did or did not do in Germany, the future of the Catholic Church around the world may depend on how well Pope Benedict deals with an issue that just keeps going from bad to worse. Victims are demanding that the Pope tackle what they call a conspiracy of silence that protects offending priests at the expense of young children. And what church officials and the faithful alike are hoping for tomorrow is a letter from the Pope that will lay out a clear plan of action. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, London.